Hello, Professor. This is my um, second presentation for CST 236. I'm just showing you the new updates to my um, website here. So this is the website. This is stuff you've already seen. We've got the login and registration page. I'm just going to log in really quick just so that you can see the index page, which I still have protected just to test and make sure the login and logout are still working, which they are. So um, this is my index page here. You can see we've got a list of all of the products that I've got in my database, and I can show you my database here really quick. So you've got you know, oranges, apples, all of these, and they are showing up right here on my index page. Um, and each one has a button for details. If you click that, we've got a modal that pops up. Um, the add to cart button, we're adding support for that later, I think. I think I saw that in the directions, so I'm going to um, keep in that there. It just says that it's under construction and it's actually disabled, so it doesn't work. Um, all of these are actually, I can't edit them. I'm trying to type right now and it's not doing anything, so they're disabled as well. But we've got details on here, including the price and all that. You can close it um, and it'll pull up all of those for different ones. So if I pull up the Kiwi really quick, you can see that it's got different description, different name, that kind of thing and the picture is obviously different. So, And then the search um, support here, if I search for oranges, it pops up with the same thing, just orange details, it pops up with the same thing. So now into the code, just to show you how I did some of that, we've got the index page here that we'll start with. Um, like I said, it is protected, so we've got this little thing right here that's actually gonna send you back to the login register page. Um, and before we get into any more of it, you can see on my the left side of my screen here, this is the new, um, organization. I did the um, end, end layer architecture here. So we've got presentation, business, and data. Um, and then index obviously resides outside of those so that the, the system can find it. Um, but then when, once we get into it a little bit here, you've got the, the instantiation of the business class, which we'll get into in a second. Um, and then you're finding all of the data in the in the database there with that function, that's what that one did. And then I initialized these two variables, the count and then the uh, new row. I said new row equal to true so that you start a new row with the first one. Um, and then here we're just looping through all of that data that we just got. So each one is equal to the, the variable row. And here we're, like I said, we're testing to see if we needed a new row, which echoes this, it creates a new div basically that's the, um, and this class is the bootstrap support for a, um, that the list of cards that you can see right here where you've got a card and then a space and then a card and then a space and then it counts we'll go out down to the bottom and i'll just show you this it counts up to three and then um if it's equal to three it's gonna um end that one essentially create a new one by setting this equal to true and then set the count back to zero so that you're counting each time and the count increases right there every time so here we're just echoing out the, the, the data. So um, this one got a little unruly in order for me to get all the data into the modal, but that all these data dash um, ID, IMG, name, price, description, quantity, all of that is so that down here, the modal can actually get a handle on it. And I'll get into my, um, my script here in a sec. And that's what actually uses it. But here we've got just a little form. This is what's going to let me add stuff to um, a cart. So eventually this will just say something like, add to cart or dot php or whatever um, and then it's actually a form that can just let me add add things to the cart but we've got the name and the description and the price and all that um, that are read only so that they're disabled and you can't edit them this is that add to cart button that's disabled right there but then we get down into the script down here we're just grabbing all of those attributes like i said the data dash I, um, attributes i'm sure that there's another easier way to do this i couldn't um, figure it out so if there's if you know how i could just do it with one data dash attribute that'd be great my problem was trying to get you know you can echo php into the script here but you can't echo script into the php so i wasn't sure how to finagle that a little bit um but if you have an idea that would be i would love to hear from you on that and uh know how to do that because that's something that I've done this in a couple different classes and it just looks a little strange when you um I guess if we go back here and we pull up these it just looks a little weird for the details button to have all of these different data dash attributes and you've got descriptions that are saved in there so like that bananas detail button down here is just it's just a little crazy a little unruly so yeah I would love to know how to do that but otherwise that's the index page there. The search page, like I showed you, we'll go over to the nav bar, which is actually where the search is. The search form is, um, here it is right here. We've got the um, inline form inline is a bootstrap class to let it do that. Here's that action getting to get search results. 
Um, and it's just really simple. Obviously, you know that. So we're going on to the business page. Um, and I'll actually pull up the data too. I didn't pull that up, but we've got the business page here. Um, or actually, we'll go to get search results. So this is the handler for that um, that search thing, and it's actually it's really really similar to the index page. It just gets the um, search parameter here, and then searches for it using a product search thing, and it's actually looping through. Um, it has to have a, a nested while loop here inside a for loop because the return from the product business is actually an array. I was trying to push arrays of idea of IDs and names so that you could just put one search in there. Um, I figured out how to do that later. Woke up in the middle of the night and thought of it, but um, yeah, it's it's that's not a great way to handle it. But that was a, an attempt to make it so you could search for multiple parameters and and uh, do it that way. Um, but here in the business. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't get, didn't finish get search results. And like I said, it's the same thing. All basically all of the same. In fact, this script is just copy and pasted. As is this button, and most of the the echoes right here are copy and pasted. It's just that nested while loop that's different. In the business thing, like I said, we got the find all here. That was um, that's the one that we used in the index page. Just really, data is pretty simple. It's creating a new product data instantiation, and then using its find all. Um, thing and then if it if that find all function returns anything it's just returning it, it and then otherwise it's returning false so pretty simple and this one like I said did a little bit more where I'm looking for two different things so you've got the the key right here which is the search um, parameter and then you're finding by name and finding by ID and saving those into those variables and then checking those um, and then checking if either of those came out with anything so in the product data here we're really again really simple creating a connection, writing a query, which the find all is just select all things from products. A um, little bit, it has where clauses in here, which like I was saying, this this could have been where name is like like name or, or you know, put a or clause in here and do ID equals whatever. But um, yeah, I didn't think of that until like just now. So, um, and then find by ID, same thing. So that's my uh, new updates to my website, and I will be, uh, yeah, I would appreciate, again, any help you can give me on this part, not having all those data dash attributes in there that I, I couldn't figure out how to handle those. So, but yeah, I appreciate it, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks.